We've all been looking online and seen something that inspired us to create something. And that's what happened here. And this is my barnyard rustic meets urban chic mirror that I made with the little ampersand sign. And I absolutely love the way that this turned out. It's such a statement piece on the wall. Um, and I really, it was a Hail Mary. I was looking at this picture online, well, a bunch of pictures, and I just love this color, that kind of gray and white washed. And then I started looking at what the prices were, and this was crazy to me, $189 for a mirror. So I had this one, it was just in the garage, like I said, and this gold would be great for somebody, but not for me anymore. So I taped it off, that's just wrapping paper in the middle, and I started spray painting. And all of the products that I use are gonna be in the description box below. So I spray painted with the flat red at first, and you can see it's not really taking, and it's kind of crackly, but I don't really care, because I'm going for that rustic feel. So I had the flat red, which kind of looks like rust, and then this bright red, because at first I thought maybe I would leave that kind of peeking through, but I decided against that ultimately, but that is the rustic red right there. And so then what I did was basically just painted the mirror fully with the gray, which I literally just mixed black and white paint until I got a color that I liked. And then I just mix, mix, mix it up, baby. And then we're just gonna, I'm just showing you here what dry brushing is in case you don't really know what that is because I wasn't 100% sure that it was actually a painting technique. I just kind of winged it and then found out that it was a legitimate painting technique. Who knew? So I, again, I painted it gray and then after it was fully dry, you're gonna come back and you just dip a brush like this, just the very tips and have something that you can kind of dab the paint on so you can get all the excess off like you see me doing here. I mean, you really wanna get rid of 90% of it. And then you just very, very lightly kind of stroke back and forth, back and forth, and you're gonna get that look. And then if you want it to be very light, then you would just leave it like that. And then you can go back and do another coat if you want it to sort of have a more distressed. I wanted it to have a higher, slightly higher washed look in certain places. So I went back and did it again, but I'm just gonna show you here real quickly again what that looks like if you do it with a heavier hand or, or a second coat. So we're just gonna go back and you can see, you're kind of getting that really cool, aged, distressed look. And what an easy technique. I mean, you can do this with any color that suits your decor. This just happened to be what worked for my particular project. And now I'm just gonna show you, so this is the difference. So if you were really painting, like full painting, like that's how I painted the gray on. You know, full strokes, most of the brush head submerged in the paint and then really laying it down. So that's how I did the gray and I think I did two full coats. Um, and the reason why I painted the red under, just to clarify, is because as this piece ages and you can kind of see paint peeking through, I wanted to see that rustic red and not that gold. So that's why I put that there. That's an optional step. You do not have to do that. Um, so if you can see right here the difference between a full painting and then, you know, here's just, again, this is just that wispy dry brushing. Very, very cool effect. And I just wanted to show you side by side so you can see how dramatic the difference can be. And again, play with this with whatever colors work for you. I mean, the sky is the limit, literally. Okay, so then when I was done with that, I just took that little ampersand and I got that at Walmart and you're gonna see that in a minute. I'm gonna put the screen capture up. And I just spray painted this with the flat red once or twice. I did not put any top coat on it because I wanted it all to be very, very matte. I was not going for a high gloss look. So this is when it was still pretty wet. It was laying on the floor. You see the mirror has all that gunk all over it. And then now it's fully dry and on the wall. And I did not put a top coat on anything here because no one's gonna to be touching this. I like the really flat color. In this picture, or these pictures, it kind of has a blue tint to it, but in real life, it's not. It's very gray and white and rustic, and I love the way that rust red looks against the gray on the ampersand. It's just so cute. Everybody that walks in the house asks about it. I love it. It's such a quick, easy, and inexpensive way to just overhaul any mirror. If you don't have one, go to Facebook Marketplace and grab a mirror for $10. They're all over there and do whatever you need to do. Thanks for spending some time with me. Don't forget to click like or subscribe if you enjoy videos like this, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, bye.